<sighs> Another blast from the past. Vacuum fluorescent displays. VFDs. Remember when I said light blue VFD displays? No? Oh, anyway, I was wrong. Most VFDs on old stereo sets are actually white. But we in the Netherlands like a warm light. So if we turn the lights on, the display looks blue. Most of the hi-fi came from Japan back then. And I believe at least back then in Japan, they lit the rooms with cool white light. And that might be the reason I've never seen a warm white VFD. And warm white doesn't look very modern, of course. They did make displays in other colors, but not warm white. Despite this variety of colors, all these displays really have the same color. Here's a cassette deck with a broken VFD. At first glance, it doesn't make any sense that a part of the display glows pink. When we take a closer look, we see that this light is coming from a broken string. It glows pink because there is a pink filter in front of the display. With the front removed, the defect looks like a tiny light bulb. Almost bright enough to read. And the display is turquoise. The pink filter makes the turquoise look white-ish. The defect is a string that broke loose from the spring. The broken string makes contact with another part of the display and it receives too much power, making it glow like a light bulb. The strings need the springs because the strings stretch and the springs fetch the stretch of the strings. They can sound quite musical, by the way. When power is applied to these strings, they send out electrons. And a microscopic grid, also powered, guides these electrons to the filaments. And when a filament is also powered, the resulting flow of electrons light up the fluorescent phosphor on the filament. And all this happens in a vacuum. Vacuum fluorescent display. Apparently, the turquoise phosphor was the most efficient and durable, comparable with glow-in-the-dark phosphors. Presumably, that's why they chose turquoise with a color filter. The VFD of this late 90s Technics set looks different. It is musical. So the strings must be behind the phosphor. And you can see the pattern of the grid in the light. So it's a reversed design. They missed out on making the display truly blue like the LED lights. Instead, there's some kind of compromise filter. Some displays of the same era have actual blue phosphors. But perhaps that makes it too difficult to read. Let's remove the front from this iconic Akai amplifier. This display too is really turquoise. And the filter this time is bright orange. And separate from a neutral density filter, which blocks a lot of the ambient light, making the display nice and dark. Without it, you see all the electronics. Let's try out various color filters. Here's the original filter. And here's the pink filter that makes it look white-ish. 
it completely changes the aesthetics. Let's try some more. Yellow makes it lime green. And green makes it uh, green, but you can't see the red anymore. And the same counts for blue. Purple contains red, so now we can see the red phosphor again. Actually, even red works for the turquoise, but very dark. I happen to have some redundant components. So let's see if I can change the color of this Camwood equalizer. That looks promising. The neutral density filter here too is separate from the pink car filter. For warm white you will need a very specific filter, which I don't have. So let's make the display yellow by using an orange filter. It worked! If I had used my brain and first tested it before assembling, I would have used two layers of the filter to give it a nice golden glow. The display of this old receiver is hard to read. It's remarkable how much light some filters block. This light green filter makes it much brighter, but now you can see the silver back. But a piece of black paper can take care of that. Nice! Time for a macro intermezzo with various devices. This mini disc player had interesting fluctuating patterns. So let's do one of my favorite things and get even closer. As usual, you can find the music you just heard on Bandcamp and later also on some streaming services. That's it for today. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you soon on this channel about everything and nothing. And if you're really bored, perhaps I'll also see you on my second lazy channel. Hé, hey, god, wat is even een kippenvel momentje zeg.